Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about Zapan. And if you're new here, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you want to stay tuned for any new content, just hit subscribe. And that's really all you have to do. So let's just get down to the video with uh, Zapan. Zapan is a hunter warrior. In other words, he is a bounty hunter. His origin is from the scrapyard. He is currently dead and he is a full cyborg he his occupations in the past was of course of murdering a fugitive as well as a hunter warrior and weirdly he was a soup kitchen worker can you picture Japan serving at a soup kitchen like really like go <laughs> on but this is yukigo at his weirdest because he does weird things with his characters some of them don't make sense, like the soup kitchen thing doesn't make sense because his uh, Zapan's attitude isn't anything near a soup kitchen worker, and that's very strange. His weapons in the manga are a knife and spike, as in the movie it's the Damascus sword. Um, and his nickname is, of course, the Great Zapan by himself. So, getting into it, Zapan. Um, as we see in the movie, is a hunter warrior. He really hates Aliga, <laughs> and Aliga, of course, cuts off his face after he tries to kill uh, Hugo. Um, but this is not where it ends. He survives that encounter with Aliga and moves on. He also meets a girl named Sarah. This is Murak's daughter. Murak is the guy with the dogs, if you remember in the movie. Um, However, Sarah takes a liking to Zapan because it, she kind of reminds him of his father in the sense of take no prisoners kind of thing. And there's not really much though on Sarah Sagley, but there's only one image I could find of her which is kind of depressing because I don't know what volume she's in. But anyways, getting into it, um, this is Zapan's first face. Japan, of course, gets this one cut off, but the second one is right here. The second one, he rips off from anger towards Aliga because he lost, and he kills Sarah in the process. So, he keeps, after he killed Sarah, he keeps her head in a jar for two years, preserving her head. And Murgar conks him down and retrieves it. And then, oh my god, <laughs> Zapan, of course, this is his third face. Zapan gets a hold of the Berserker body, which is Aliga's body. He's basically now invincible. He's known as one of the only people to fly under Zalem and not get shot down. He basically roams unchecked. He can morph the body, which isn't really explained in the Battle Angel movie, but the angel body can morph into whatever its creators envisions itself, which we thought in the movie was like, oh, their age, or we're like, no, this dude turns into like Frieza times 10, you know, with morphing skills. <laughs> and um, this is the um, picture of Sarah. This is the only picture I could find of Sarah in Japan. This is before Japan dies. When he faces Aliga for the first, um, the last time, and he loses after Aliga ingests a pill, and it's the only thing that can kill the Berserker body, and she got it from Nova, which is another stupid thing. I like, for real, like, it's just that thing with Yukigo. They drag out the process, and whatever she got it from Nova, and she took the pill. And he absorbed Aliga's body because the Berserker body can absorb other cyborgs and completely crush them. The pill is filled with. Oh my god, I have it. Um, with the collapser. So this collapser is injected and it explodes, killing Zapan. But in Zapan's final moments, and Aliga's moments, they merge, their minds merge. And they both see this. And Zapang 
in their free fall from this explosion in this mixer they're falling and then they explode but Zapan's last moments was him saving Aliga him becoming more humanish in his last seconds and basically breaking Aliga's fall with his own body what was left of his body anyway and right here you can actually see what the berserker body has morphed into which is very interesting because there uh, there's nothing like that in any other like like if you see the Aliga's body and, she, and the doctors um, uh, like oh she looks so much older than maybe we thought she was and it's like this motherfuckers like freezer right now third form <laughs> like, you know, like, like yeah maybe a league should do something like that like you know that'd be kind of cool <laughs> but that was really it for Japan it was just him hating a league throughout the rest of his life and trying to get back at her for that massive level of embarrassment from the bar that night when she basically manhandled him and didn't even take the sword so that's really it for Japan I think he could have been used so much better like I always say this in videos I make but he could have been used so much better in the series and this is what Japan looked like in the anime he actually had pink hair which is kind of funny, <laughs> like, ugh. This could have been probably one of the best enemies Aliga's had, if used correctly, like they did in the movie. They used them walking well in the movie. And her and that Nova thing, I'm so sick of it. I really am. And it's kind of making me fall, fall out of love with the anime a little bit, because a lot of it's filler. Like, if you remember watching the original Rock of Dragon Ball Z, like, they had so much filler episodes. It was like, oh, And that's why I stopped reading the First Order. Um, Mars, um, Mars Chronicles is actually not that bad. But, again, it still follows the same mechanics that Yakiko is using. Um, but Japan could have been used better. It should have been a main villain. Um... Like Guishka, if you if you remember who Guishka is from the movies, like basically the main villain besides um, Nova, he's not even in the anime. I mean, not the anime. I'm sorry, the manga. That's a, actually a makeup character. So <laughs> that, you know that goes a lot in it as well. Like he, Japan should have been like the Sethiroth of the illegal world, in my opinion. But again, just like Sharon. And Ego, they were just, in my opinion, tossed to the side. And I don't like that. It's just a waste. And Japan could have been so much more. This could have been so much more. His attitude, the style. I mean, the CGI, the CGI work on his body in the movie was so good. And... Quite frankly, I think it was the best CGI work I've ever seen in a movie was on his body. Like, that was really good work. And really good actor as well. But, sadly, it was it's just one of those things, you know. And, af you know, I, if we do get a second movie, hopefully we do see Zapan again, which we probably will. Because they do change things in the movie. I don't know with Nova and the whole chip thing what they're going to do with that um, but that's going to be my next um, video is going to be about if we get an Omega 2 um, reasons why and reasons why we might not I think it'd be kind of crap if we didn't but this is so that's going to be my next video and like I say if you guys enjoy this video hit that like button and subscribe and so the simple thing is what happened to Zapan is that he mega zang but he became in his last seconds normal and he died with the impression of him and Sarah together during the merge of minds with him and Aliga when he absorbed their body. So if you like this video hit that like subscribe and I will see you in the next one and that's all.